The Washington Institute is studying the potential impacts of the Iran nuclear deal, including the effects of additional Iranian money from a post-sanctions windfall. Here are some of the most important impacts. In Syria, it would give Tehran ample capacity to rescue the Assad regime, which is struggling to survive amidst a horrific civil war. The money would be used for everything from supplementing the regime's expenditures to keeping the bureaucracy functioning, maintaining the diminished army, and propping up the exchange rate. In Iraq, the post-sanctions boom would result in unprecedented influence buying by Iran in Iraq's forthcoming provincial elections in 2017 and national elections in 2018. Iraq is at an important crossroads in which additional Iranian influence could tip the balance towards Tehran, overtaking Washington as the dominant player there. Another likely beneficiary is Hezbollah. Iran had to cut its support for the group because of the drop in oil prices and pressure from sanctions, which has hurt Hezbollah's activities within Lebanon. That tide could reverse with Iran's post-sanctions windfall, and Iranian support would also help fund Hezbollah's international and regional terrorist activities. Hamas has had serious challenges, which more Iranian support will help it overcome. Other Palestinian terrorist groups, such as Fatah and Palestinian Islamic Jihad, will benefit too. The prospect of Iran becoming flush with cash petrifies the Sunni-ruled kingdoms and sheikdoms of the Gulf, especially Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. In Yemen, the Saudi-UAE-led coalition fighting to reinstall the president continues to blame Iran for backing opposition forces. The potential lifting of sanctions means that Iran will not be constrained by lack of cash in any support it gives to the Houthi rebels in Yemen. In addition, the post-sanctions bonanza will fuel Iran's ongoing efforts to acquire conventional arms like ballistic missiles. The nuclear accord continues the ban on the sale of major weapon systems to Iran. It's less clear with regard to the issue of Iran selling major weapon systems. In either case, it is allowed to buy or sell small arms or light weapon systems, and it'll have more money to do so in the future. Perhaps the agreement's most important impact is to support Iran's narrative that it's a rising power and the U.S. a declining one. And with this post-sanctions windfall, Iran will further that goal through its ability to provide greater support to its regional allies. The Washington Institute brings unmatched expertise to this fluid situation, as it has experts in all the affected regions and subjects. For more information, read the full Policy Watch and subscribe to the Institute YouTube channel.